hi there everyone back with an another video in this video we will learn the one of the most important concept in javascript that's what we call it as string comparison so what do you mean by string comparison now so again uh, to understand this uh, i'll just go back with the thing which we have done in the previous lecture where we uh, where in the previous lecture we have studied about a comparison operator and we have uh, done with some of the examples of that right so and hence we got true and false as a boolean uh, output of this uh, comparison so as you can notice here these are the numerical comparison these are not the string comparison so now uh, what i will do here is uh, instead of doing this so in order to understand string comparison i'll just do something called as this uh, yeah so now guys is this valid is a greater than c is this statement correct will it give us an error or will I, will it give us uh, any true or false as a value so what's the output of this so in order to understand this you need to understand the types of a string comparison so the first type is it's just a character comparison so it's a character comparison and the second thing is it's a string comparison so now in order to understand this you need to understand uh, you know uh, string comparison you need to understand character because string is again a series of characters before diving deep into string comparison you need to understand how exactly a single character works right so you need to understand a character comparison so in i'll just call it as a first part so i'll just note it down as you know part 1 and the string comparison will be part 2 so let's dive deep into each and every one of those parts so in the first part we will be learning a character comparison and then once we got the character comparison it's not a big deal to learn a string comparison so it's a similar kind of thing but uh, it's a uh, there is a huge difference between a character and a string comparison so let's dive deep with the first uh, part so yes guys uh, in this first part we will be learning a character comparison just like this so now what if i just save this and what is what, i'll just check what's the result of this so if i just refresh the browser and as you can see it's giving us a false value So how did we end up by getting the result of this comparison as a false? And uh, and again, guys, you need to keep that in mind. This is a boolean false. This is not a string. So now, which means we got false, which means a is not greater than c, right? So is in this condition we are just checking is a greater than c? It's not, right? So which means a is less than c, right? So if I just change this value to this, so now we need to get true because a is less than c. So now how did we end up getting a less than c? How we are getting this true? So in order to understand that, I'll just again in the com uh, comment section here, I will just write another concept called as lexicographical, yeah, graphical order. So in order to understand a character or a string comparison you need to understand this lexicographical order. So now again what is lexicographical order? It's again simple guys it's all so simple. So it's just like a character alphabets just like a b c d e and f all the way to the last alphabet in English it's a z right? So this is just a normal a b c d and all the way to c right so this is an ordered way of writing an english uh, alphabets right right from the beginning till the end so this is also what we call it as lexicographical order but in in terms of javascript the reason why we are getting a is less than c is because a comes before c as you can notice here a comes before c so a is less than c in other words since a since c yeah c comes after a so c is greater than a right so now if i can uh, correlate it uh, correlate with the same example like is a is a less than z now 
of course true because a comes before z so a is less than z so if i just refresh the browser as you can see it's a true so now if i just change the values is a z greater than um yeah is z greater uh, than i mean what's the sign here yeah it's less than right so is z less than a it should be false because z comes after a so z is greater than a so if i just refresh the browser we got the false right so this is how a character comparison works you can go around with all the things like is uh, z greater than a so now it will be true because z comes after a so a uh, so c uh, z is greater than a right yeah z is greater than a so we got true that's it guys this is all so simple and uh, this is the first part where we have learned the character comparison in javascript and with the help of lexicographical order but now what if i do something called as uh, this is cap a less than or yeah cap a greater than small a is how this works now we have not yet dive deep into the uh, the caps letters right so now we got false why which means we got false means a cap a is less than a small a right so how this work how, how this is working now so we have learned only the small uh, small case uh, alphabets right so now i am comparing a caps letter with a small case letters right so how this how did this uh, work now so uh, it is again so simple guys before we end up with uh, the small case letters we should have an upper case letters just like this a b c d and e and all the way to z and then comes a small case alphabets so first we will be having all the upper case alphabets and then all the smaller case alphabets so in this again in this example since a which is a caps a comes before small case a so again a uh, upper case a is smaller than lower case a so and hence a cap a is not greater than a small case a so we got false so if i just change the sign just like this is now what it become i'm sorry for that yeah now what is the thing here is small uh, is caps a less than uh, a small a it should be true right and hence we got true the reason is because all the upper case letters will be coming first in lexicographical order and then we will be having all the small case alphabets that's it guys this is so simple with working around with a character comparison which is in our, in our tutorial it's a first part we haven't dive deep into the string comparison so this is all about the character comparison so i have explained to you all about the character comparison with both uh, upper case letters and the lowercase letters right so just go around with this and practice and make sure that you understand character comparison before because if you don't understand character comparison you will not be understanding string comparison so this is uh, this is why i have divided this tutorial into part 1 and the part 2 so you need to understand thoroughly the part 1 which is a character comparison so let's uh, dive deep into the next part which is string comparison all right guys let's move ahead and uh, move ahead with the the second part in this video that's what we call it as a string comparison so as we have done already with the character comparison let's move ahead and jump in with the next part is a string comparison so now how do we compare a string so now what do you mean by a string it is a series of character which contains more than one character right so this these are the single character so now if i have something called as let me say b b which is again a string and let me say a c right so these this is now a string comparison now it is not a character comparison we are doing a string comparison right so what is the what will be the result of this let me check that and let me refresh the browser and we got false so now how did we end up by getting false as a result of this string comparison right so string comparison you need to keep that in mind it's a string comparison so now how does a string comparison works in javascript 
it's so simple guys again it will be working around with the character comparison so now we need to go back to the part one and do the same thing which is a character comparison which is just again with the lexicographical order which we have already studied that so the thing here in string comparison is you need to first take the first character in the first string and compare with the first character in the second string right so in our case we will be first comparing with b with a right so we will be comparing with b and a so now which is greater b or a b right so because b comes after a so b is greater right so that's it guys so we'll end up the entire process of string comparison so now we easily tell that b b is greater than a c so now what's the comparison operator we are using here it's less than right so b b is not less than a c so and hence we got false so if i just change with greater symbol so now b and b is greater than a c will be getting true right so first you need to understand here is it's a character i'll just write, write it down here it's a character by character comparison so this is what we'll be doing here it is a character by character comparison so now uh, this is the first case so now what if i do something called as let me change the values here so is a greater ap greater than ac so now what's the thing here so let me check the output of this it's false so now how ab is not greater than ac again we need to consider character by character comparison so first take up the first character here and then compare with the next of uh, the, the character in the next string right so first character with the first character so a is greater than a no a is not greater than a a and a is equal right so now what to do next move ahead do the same process of character by character with the next character in both of the strings right so since we have got a and uh, the first character in the first string and the second character uh, the first character in the second string are equal so don't be confused guys so since we have got a and a in the both string we now we need to compare the next characters right so what is the next character it's b will be compared with the second character in the second string so we b will be compared with c so now is b greater than c no as you can see here b c is greater than b not b greater than c right so since b is less than c we call it as a b is not greater than a c right so this is why we got false so we need to understand this so let me give you another example like what if i have a string called as this so i'll just say b b will be compared with b b b and triple b so now what will be the output so let me check and uh, it's again false so now how did we end up with getting this so as we have studied character by character again apply the character comparison by character by character so now first take up the first character here and which is b over here right and compare with the the first character in the next string so b since b and b are equal go since since b and b are equal so go ahead with the next character so this the second character b will be compared with again the second character so in this case we have again b and b so now again move ahead with the next characters so now as you can notice here there is no character in here right so now we can declare that since the number of characters in this string is greater than the number of characters in this string so we call it as a greater one so since b has got three characters it's greater than the bb so now we got false because bb is not greater than the triple b's right so this is why we got false so now if i just change the 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 symbol here so we'll get true right so now what you need to understand here is the greater the length of the string the greater the value of the character of the string right so if we got more string more characters in this string then we can easily say that this is the greater character than the other string that's it so now let me again explain you with another example over here like 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 i'll just say uh, zb with uh, this so now i'll just change this uh, symbol so now is zb greater than b and b let me check in the output it's again true right so now how did we end up with zb greater than 
B B B. Even though we have got three characters here ra rather than the two characters which is here, it's not greater, right? So now Z B is greater than P. Even though the length is greater, the the string is not greater here in this scenario. The reason is because you need to again go back with character by character comparison. So first we need to take the first character here. And compare with this first character in the second string. So since Z is greater than B, the thing here is the whole string will be the greater than the second string, right? So since Z is greater than B, Z B is greater than this triple B's over here. So hence we got true Z B is greater than triple B's. So you need to understand here is first apply the character by character comparison. If the the character which is greater will be the greater string right and if it is same the characters are same just go ahead and do the same process with the character by character comparison that's it so at the end if you left with the greater string then declare that as a greater string that's it so now the last scenario over here is what if i have something called as this so if i have zb and zb so now these are equal now as you can see it's not greater again it will gi give us as false because since we have same string with same characters the length of the string is same we call it as equal right at the end we will be ending up with the equal scenario right so zb is equal to zb so cb is not greater than zb of course so if i just have zb greater than or equal to so now we'll get true right as you can see we got true that's it guys this is all about the all comparison of uh, the string right so in javascript we will be doing in this way so in, in string comparison you need to understand that we'll be having first character by character comparison and then move ahead this do the same process until the end of the string that's it so this is all about the string comparison in javascript go ahead and check with all of the the scenarios in string comparison and change the this uh, the comparison operators which we have done in the previous lectures and get the result back and if you are confused with that just comment me uh, in the down below i will be helping you always guys it seems to be difficult for the first time but it it, it will be very easy if you practice it a lot that's it guys this is all about a string comparison in javascript so see you in the next video